Hello guys, welcome back. I know I haven't made a video in a while and that is because I've been working on an animation. Um, I kind of want to put that up but it's taking longer than expected. Um, make sure you guys look out for the animation because I'm really excited about it even though it's a beginner animation and I don't know, I'm proud of it. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about how to pull yourself out of depression and of course it isn't easy um if it was easy nobody would be depressed and that would be amazing but there are a few things you can do and they sound easy but um really it's hard to really do them when you are depressed so the first thing or things are keeping track of just your physical health so that means um, eating properly, exercising, and getting proper sleep. This kind of makes sense because if you are not physically well, your mind cannot work as well. And so exercising kind of helps boost mood. I talked about that before. And getting enough sleep. That's also a big thing because when you don't get enough sleep, your mind tends to work against you, you start thinking negative things and worrying more and everything just looks a little bit more bleak. And of course, eating healthily ties in with the rest of it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is getting out there, talking to friends and family. And this can be really hard when you're depressed because you just want to stay in bed or you want to stay in and that's just part of being depressed so it's hard to like push yourself out of it I know when I was really down I knew that I should go out and hang out with friends I really wanted to go but like my depression was holding me back so yes try to get out and see people because talking to people or just any kind of social interaction usually helps boost your mood a little bit and you're not caught in your head too much. Another thing is taking small steps. So when you are not feeling like doing anything at all, you can just take small steps to get yourself moving, like get up, go take a shower, make some food, or just little things that can help you feel more productive but at the same time aren't big steps because it takes a little bit of momentum to get you where you really want to go and taking those small steps helps you get there. Another thing is just accepting where you are, helping yourself from there. If you are denying that you have a big problem or refuse to open up about it or seek help, it can really fester, I guess, if that's the right word. But it kind of gets worse when you ignore it or try to pretend it's not there. Another big part is mindset. So if you always expect things to go wrong, usually they will. It's called self-fulfilling prophecy. You might have heard of it before, but basically if you think something's going to go a certain way, usually you do things that ends up kind of fulfilling what you believed would happen in the first place. So when you feel bad today, you don't have to think that tomorrow will be the same. That's an example. You can say tomorrow's a new day. Um, I'll wake up and things can be different. I'll get out of bed and start doing things. And it doesn't have to go along the same path. You don't have to expect the same thing. And usually that can help a little bit to kind of improve yourself day by day. It's not an immediate thing. I talked about this in a different video, but it was called OEA, Opposite Emotion Action or something like that. And basically it means doing the opposite of what depression tells you to do. So this kind of goes along with what I said before about going out and seeing friends is that when you feel like staying in bed, because that's 
what depression wants you to do. Instead, you get up and do something or if depression is telling you you need to stay in instead of going out, doing what you need to do, doing the opposite of that. You can also set small goals for yourself. Kind of goes along with the OEA and everything else that I said. If you need to do something to help yourself get out of depression, you can set little goals like I need to eat right or I need to get to bed on time. And you can also have little rewards for yourself just so you can help yourself get there. It also helps to create a routine and that um, starts with just creating the habit. So you can I'm just setting this out here, but you can think of what you need to do, know what you need to do, set the goals, find rewards, and eventually it can become routine. And if you do that, then you can definitely help yourself kind of get out of depression and then stay out. And the last thing I'm going to say right now is um, doing things that you like and things that are relaxing so whatever that might be like listening to music going for mini hikes just going outside and seeing nature doing art or just trying a new hobby you know sometimes trying out something new can help you kind of change your mindset if you're always doing the same thing and becomes mundane you kind of your mind just stays stagnant and it's not like stimulated and you're not finding excitement in your daily life which can also lead to depression so yeah just trying new things can help so those are some of the things that I've done and that I've read about that's all I have for today and I will see you guys later